Hi guys, welcome back to another fabulous day of being an electrician. Um, today we're changing the fuse board. So I'm at the job where I did the socket rewire, which is this one, which will be my last video. This should be the new one. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll put a link at the very end to the socket rewire video. Uh, Adam's with me today. Adam's so around so I can fix it and he's putting the last leg into the fuse board for me. So we're going to say hello in a second. Um, this is oh, a bit of a mess. So you would have seen this if you watched the other video, but this is what's happened. So we've got old rubber cable going around with an old uh, rewire or fuse board. They had a light rewire at some point, so would have thought in the last five years by the looks of things. Um, it's not labelled up date or inspection, so I don't really know. A um, few little things that I've found. There's a six mil coming out the bottom of it, so I had to go to the loft earlier and found out that it actually goes to nothing. It's just connector boxes right in the top, so that was fun. Um, Another little thing is the, oh, hang on. Sorry about that, a plumber's just come to the door, knocked on it, I answered it and he goes, excuse me mate, is your mum and dad in? Shut up, Adam. Mum and dad? <sighs> Whatever. It's coming back now. It's coming for the door right now. Right, now he's gone. Adam, show us your gear. Nice new top, bro. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. Nice. Same, uh, but you can take it off now. Mind your head, I think I got that. Uh, take it off now, because I don't want to get dirty. Yeah. <laughs> we need to um, get it all embroidered. So I left my top here last night, so I thought, ah, crap, the new one's out. Um, okay, while they've been here for about half hour, I spoke to the customer, they want mains powered smoke alarms, which obviously is most of the time a definite. So we've got heat alarm in the kitchen, smoke alarm there, one on the landing. So I've just been running that. I've been dropping these down. The torch again. Oh. oh, that's messy. So I've just literally <coughs> poked a hole, dropped them down. So we've got three socket circuits, cocker circuit, and a lighting circuit. We need to run one more up for the boiler, which will just go straight with the source stack. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much that. We'll be pulling that off in a minute. I think I'm going to incorporate the new lights in the new board. So I'll take that, disconnect that. Uh, we've got some Lucy blocks which we can disconnect nicely. I see there isn't any seals actually on the meter, but there's no need to, to tamper with that because I could just uh, unwire them from the Lucy block. Um, like I said, that cable. So, all in all, I'll start on that in a minute. Fuse box board, fuse box RCBOs, fuse box RCBOs. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get this tidied up a little bit in there. Uh, just double check with Adam, he's just put a few sockets on and whatnot, done the last leg. I need to run in and uh, yeah, I'll crack on with the board. Okay, first port call, we've just run all the cables through. I think, I think a few of them have uh, been a bit too long. Never mind. So they're through up there. You really like to the rescue. Boom, boom. Um, I'm just going to measure off this, get two lengths of trunking run down. Straight to there. How many cables have got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven circuits to run down. So I can either run two of these or we'll get the thicker trunking. I'll have a look, measure them out, stick them on, I'll feed my cables all down behind. Fingers crossed if they actually go down there. <laughs> Maybe not. We'll see. Um, and then we'll pull this off. Everything on that is becoming redundant, so I can literally just snip off the tails and rip the board off. Everything's going, and then somehow incorporate this into that one. Uh, fingers crossed the cable are long enough here for the lights. If not, there is some slack in the ceiling that I can pull a bit more of the uh, that down. That's your main water bonding. Here is your gas, because your gas meter is just here. I've just had to pull this off to get some of the boxing out of the way. Um, yeah, that main tail, 16 mil, can then go straight into my board and then get some nice new tails across and get rid of the old uh, fabric ones over here. I'm not one for moaning at other people's work, I'm not. And I did say the guy has done a good job everywhere else, but literally nothing in this board was tight. Yeah. Neutral, live wasn't too bad. All these were loose. Um, <laughs> it's a bit, right, okay. But hey hey, it's uh, unfortunately, I don't think he owned a torque screwdriver. What I'm gonna do, what I've done, he, what I'm gonna do, what I've done, slice the side off this off, back off and you see the old rubber cables down there rear entry where they were doing you can see them in the wall bonded there plan is three lengths of trunking come down they're going to end here i'm going to put this piece of wood back on the cables are then going to go behind 
I'm going to make a notch out here. They're going to come through, and this should then come through into my new CU. Screw that plastic, uh, screw the piece of wood back on, and we'll stick a bit of silicone round and lean it up. So I wasn't quite sure what the plan was with this, but that's the way it's ended up, and uh, it shouldn't be too bad. Just need to bring them down all nicely. We'll put them in the uh, M2 trunk in, and then we'll put the D clips on the metal ones to uh, the side for, for fire uh, ratings. So this is what it looks like now. What I've done is cut the back of these out, the trunking out, so that will push back and down behind the wood. Got my D clips in, or whatever the hell they're called. So they run up nice. So I thought I'd put that on before I put the lid on. Obviously, let's just get rid of this excess and a bit of a tidy up as well because it is a bit cramped and I keep smashing my head on this as well. So that's where we're at. They're all coming out there. That's on. They all disappear behind it. I've redone a bit of trunk in there. I'm going to stick some angles on that. Um, so it should look quite neat once it's done. So I'm happy with it. So next thing is now disconnect this, rip this off and uh, put the new one in place. This is what we've got in here. So you can see it, literally everything's rubber except for this PVC cable here, which is this one, which originally went to the loft either for an electric shower, but I couldn't see that there was ever one there. So I don't really know what that was for. Got your old fabric uh, main tails, 16 mil. So that's all coming off. Um, disconnect from the Lucy blocks and then uh, measure the new one up, see if that's uh, in the right place. Okay, this is what we're left with. So just Cut all them off. Uh, chucked all the stuff on the floor. It's the old, all the old rubber cable. A bit of a clear out. Uh, I'll open the new board up. Fingers crossed it's going to fit in this gap here. So this will be rear entry. <laughs> rear entry. Uh, Adam, yeah. we're going to be doing some rear entry. <laughs> all right. So we've got a 10 way RCBO surge protected board from Fusebox. Mm -hmm. Uh, like I said in my last video, if you haven't seen it, uh, Expert Electro have given me this and uh, I'll pop the, my dis discount on top for 10% uh, off Fusebox boards. They are the cheapest by far on the internet, so go and check them out. Link below and all that sort of stuff. Um, I've gone to the wholesaler because I was sick to death of using the old strip that I had. So I just bought a 25 meter run of um, grommet strip to go around. So I'm going to do both of these knockouts out, put this in and uh, see how we're getting on. That's on now. I know a few people say you might fix it on, which I might do at a later date with some boards, but uh, it's gonna last a while. Oh, I can put one of these in one of my spare boxes. Oh, nice. Uh, I'll get this screwed on and then uh, I'll show you what we're gonna do. The benefits of actually living next door. Right, so you got 25 mil. Glanning kit in there, the whisker one. Uh, pop that in place. It's now fit securely there. So what I've done in the back is just brought six mil, two two fives, two fives over there, and then the one mil just so I can separate it out. But what we are having as well is two arm cables coming out the bottom, feeding outside at some point. So I'll leave two spaces free for them. I've got main tails in now, 25 mil, 16 mil earth, two 10 mils. This just goes off here for the time being up to the gas meter until I can clip it properly. Um, start stripping back. I might just put my RCBOs in now and just feed the uh, fly leads over. So this is where we're at now. I decided to put all the fly leads in for the neutrals and crimp them all just so I can get a nice neat thing without having to mess around with everything later. One thing, a 120 mil, uh, 20 amp breaker short, which is going to be uh, that one. Um, Yes, that one, which will be replaced at a later date, but that's for the boiler and one's for a loft socket, so it doesn't really matter because it's not going to be powered up anyway. So what I'm going to do for the upstairs lights or downstairs, the smoke alarm is going to tap off it, so it's going to go in the same breaker. And for the reason of this is we've had it before where smoke alarm's buzzing, it's beeping because it's out of battery or whatever, so they just turn the breaker off and get rid of that altogether. So. If you put it in the circuit, it makes the people, if there is an issue, they'll come and repair it rather than just flicking it off. I'm not saying that's going to happen at this customer's house, but I just sort of do it as a rule of thumb now. Crimping set is this one uh, that was off Amazon. I think it was about 20 quid, so I'll put a link below. And uh, it's a great little piece of kit. So my next thing is I'm just going to strip everything back, find out what goes where, and start poking them in. Little update. Put my brew down. 
So two outside points, cooker. That one is upstairs. Then we're gonna have um, loft socket. Yeah, loft socket. Then we're gonna go downstairs. So just tripping, putting it back, looping it round, tidy as I can. Got a nice seat. Adam's been a good boy. Been a good boy. Yeah. yeah. Good luck. So uh, yeah, I'll just keep coming backwards and forwards. Let's bring the light down. That's what we've got so far. So two spare there for the outside and then one spare there, which will be the boiler slash loft as well. Socket, so they're just coiled on down here, out of the way. Adam was banging around, putting floorboards back down. Uh, last thing, buzz bar in here, um, connect the main tails up. Um, obviously stick this capping back on. I can do a few tests today. Obviously things aren't completed, so the smoke alarm just got a way to go on it. There's a heat alarm there, obviously one upstairs. There's no boiler, there's no loft sockets. Uh, sockets in here, I can do all the tests that I need to appropriately. Um, clip a few more things, do do stuff, tidy up, put a few more boards back down. And then the last thing I've got to do is run a three core on earth from the heat alarm in the kitchen up into the loft as well. So a few more things to do. Um, but until stuff sort of plastered properly of the ceiling, to know what we're doing with the ceilings, I can't quite finish off everything yet, i.e. with the fuse board as well. So I get the test done that I can get done, make sure everything's safe and as it should. I know the RCD trip tests, ZS, all the usual malarkey. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So I'll get the board up and running in a minute. I'll do a few tests and I'm just going to see how Adam's getting on. It's all good. All right, we've done a, run a few tests. Adam's got everything on. So that's it currently. Put a P-clip down here, a few cable ties. Just tack this for the time being the way it is until this gets shifted and moved out the way. Uh, chunking's all done now. Siliconed it up the sides, just a bit more neatness. So quite happy how it finished out. Worked out really well, cutting this bit out, doing rear entry. Uh, Adam, yeah. rear entry. Love it. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's gone quite neat. Obviously missed out the there's one to go on the end as well, so we've got a loft uh, fuse to go in, and also this one will be for the boiler, so they're just curled up in the back for the time being. Um, cooker's on. I'll show you the cooker. This is sort of tapped onto last week's video. So that's what I've done with the cooker. It's been surfaced down, the metal clips inside, put a bit of silicon, that's drilled through on the angle, so there's now a new cooker feed for as and when that then gets pulled across to there. So new socket fronts on, tidied up a bit. Fridge is already plugged in. It's running through in the lounge. Just done that one. The man of the hour. So yeah, it's uh, three days wasn't a bad turnaround really, especially when you've been at college for yeah. two days. Um, yeah, there's much more to add. I can uh, get a bit of a clip once this is all sort of done completely and finished off. Right, so obviously a few last things to do. Labels. All that sort of stuff. Uh, full test once everything's connected. Uh, I've tested all the stuff that's gone live now. Um, smoke alarms at some point they're going to go up. So yeah, happy days and stick a few labels on the board. Put the lid on. Um, wait till the next phone call for the rest of the stuff really. That's about it mate. Oh, sound, thank you. Oh, I'm just blinding myself. Got a good hoover up. Cleaned everything up. Upstairs, stairs, all that sort of stuff. Just the carpet is getting replaced. So the bit of dab that I got on there is acceptable so it's been an enjoyable one to be fair so when this comes out i will be monday tuesday next week i'm doing my ev charging course in tamworth so i might get a bit of footage might do you know driving there and then on break time run through sort of things and what i've done possibly if i get the chance so uh, for now please like subscribe and see you soon